This is Andy Weir, Project Hail Mary. 476 pages in 30 chapters. If I could sum this up in one sentence, it would be a last ditch effort to save Earth after the sun starts dimming. So this is set in the future, and uh, it turns out that there is a microbe that uh, travels to and from Venus, I believe it is. Either way, um, it's responsible for the sun dimming. Uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, scientific and chem chemistry details in there, but um, for the most part, that's the situation they're in. And Hail Mary, you know, throwing a deep pass, you know, the last ditch effort, that's the goal. So uh, Ryland Grace is the main character and who is telling the story. So this is a retelling of the story from the main character's perspective. All of Andy Weir's novels have that. This is the latest Andy Weir novel. I've been waiting for this one for a while, and it did not disappoint. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, the main character is a science teacher who is alone in a spacecraft in the opening scene. And his goal is to save Earth by visiting a star system who's, who doesn't have this problem, right? They searched all the other star systems, saw all the stars were dimming, and then there's this one that doesn't have that happening. So uh, he's on a spaceship on his way there, wakes up, he's alone. There's lots of little neat science and chemistry tidbits in there. I didn't know about the microwave, right? Like the wavelength of the you know microwaves is such that they don't escape the holes. There's some mesh holes in the door of the microwave and the wavelength is just right so that it doesn't fit through those holes and come at you while you're staring at your food in the microwave. So that was kind of neat. Another thing is on the back, um, all of the reviews, the references, I don't know if any of them are starred reviews or not, and starred reviews are usually paid for, but none of these say starred reviews, but um, yeah, these are all authors that I really enjoy. Brandon Sanderson, George R. R. Martin, Ernest Cline, you know, boom, like that fits right into my, you know, science, sci-fi, fantasy category. So there's two at the bottom that I'm going to check out. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this just was an awesome adventure. And it just really did, um, you know, it was right up my alley with the science and sci-fi. So it was uh, very human to you know, come up with new technology and then use it for everything. So <laughs> one of the things, the, the microbes that is causing the sun to dim, it has very unique properties. They study it and then start using it for propulsion and as a um, shield from radiation. So <laughs> yeah, it's very human to then use the thing that's hurting you. But anyways, um, things I liked very uh similar style to the martian and artemis for that matter you know a retelling of the story from the main character's perspective so you get kind of the thoughts and feelings you get little tidbits and little side you know asides in there because of that so it's not just straight up here's the story it's here's the story and how the main character feels about it so i like that um the flashback memories i didn't like at first but then they really grew on me and i was looking forward to them actually as they go along so you start in the spaceship and the main character doesn't know his own name or why he's there. So he kind of has these memory flashbacks to tell the story of how he got there. Um, also to help figure out what to do. <laughs> so uh, turns out there is a Dutch, for lack of a better word, overlord <laughs> named Strat. And uh, I really enjoyed her character in that, you know, she was overbearing and that she was a history major. So really, really cool. Of course, Rocky was one of my favorite characters. He is super cool, super awesome, lots of fun. So Rocky is great. Um, I liked the hard choices in here. Uh, you know, there are, you know, the goal is to save humanity and any risk involves not only a risk to oneself, but the main character, but also to all of humanity so uh yeah anything that takes any amount of time could potentially you know doom humanity so very cool you know it really made it not easy but it, hard choices are hard and you know there's a lot of that goes into that decision making so i really enjoyed the way that was handled 
the cool part that I enjoy, another cool part was alien sentence, alien species that aren't sentient. Uh, the astrophage doesn't think for itself. It is more like an animal or an organism. It does its thing and it consumes and it reproduces and it does its thing. So um, I thought it was cool that you know, not all alien life is <laughs> sentient. That was, that was neat. Um, let's see. My favorite crew scene part uh, flashback is the number two where they where Ryland finds out he's the number two. That was just such a great scene. I really enjoyed it. It was really short, really simple, but it, it meant a lot, I think, to the story and to me. So there were some things I didn't like. The chapters are longer than I like, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. But uh, I feel like there should have been more time spent learning the language with Rocky. Um, I get that, you know, he's super smart and that kind of thing, but still I feel like <laughs> I think there was like a week or two that went by and they just said we learned more and that kind of thing but I think that would have been an enjoyable chapter or two more in depth uh, either way two there were a lot of EVAs um, I didn't like that I thought it was way too risky you know solo <laughs> anything could go wrong I know he had like 10 tethers at one point but it just felt to me like he should have had like an, a Roomba or something that could have like ran around the ship or something and done its thing. Um, yeah. So too many EVAs. I, I didn't like that part. Really this book, um, I don't know if it's because the author is a software engineer and that's what I do. It, maybe we're on the same wavelength, but I really, really enjoyed this book. It was everything that a science fiction fantasy book should be. And really, it kept me going. Even on those long chapters, I didn't slow down. It just flew by. I wish I could read this again for the first time. So Andy Weir is one of my favorite authors, and I highly recommend his latest book here, Project Hail Mary. So buy your books used.